you know that in 10 years there's going to be kids that find us and they're going to be like JD and Michael the coolest <laughs> like oh that Clue video Remember the, what's your favorite JD and Michael getting real video <laughs> probably Clue and they're doing this like robots because they're all robots it's Thanksgiving it's here it's not yeah. it, I mean it's not Thanksgiving right now but you may be watching on Thanksgiving Thanksgiving yeah. is sometime around here or not depending on where you're watching in time yeah. and in space because time is is just you know a concept a mind it's, it's a concept it's of a mind yeah. Yeah. I mean time's not even real I know so. it's like whatever string theory and all that yep I don't know what I'm saying I don't either instead of Frozen you saw that last week you don't gotta see it again instead of Mr. Rogers I mean just go watch a documentary you should take your family to a real family film Knives Out Knives Out directed by Ryan Johnson Ryan Johnson the master behind The Last Jedi which broke the internet and probably broke a fandom i've been thinking a lot about it but i'm just gonna just gonna push it down and we're gonna move forward but he also did things like looper great movie fantastic movie probably the best uh bruce i almost said bruce Springsteen movie. <laughs> yeah probably the, probably the best <laughs> the best bruce willis movie we've gotten uh in the maybe the last 15 years he he, he did brick an uh, indie classic cult classic yeah. if you will and he did the brothers bloom i think it's one of his best and i think this knives out is the closest to that that it's he's gotten it's to challenging it for sure what it's challenging oh it for sure challenging oh oh challenging for the best i yeah. thought i was like do you mean channeling it well, no they're about to have a knife fight it's just it's it's a quirky murder mystery with like kind of a i wouldn't say a twist yeah but it's like a, a different spin well with murder mysteries there ever there is no twist really because you're just waiting for the reveal of who real. killed the yeah. person but this one reveals things it, it kind of upends the tropes and the genre stuff of murder mysteries it's like well actually you know this is not the main character this is the main character but then also we're going to reveal something in the middle of the movie and then you think he, you got everything figured out but nope there's still a murder mystery the Thromby family they are a family filled with uh, just terrible people kind of you know there's maybe a few in there that are nice and they are they seem nice they seem like they're yeah they're good people like a true like a true family like a real family <laughs> and there's also one other character uh, who is like family to this family uh, she is the she was the kind of nurse or keeper companion to the patriarch of the family who has been murdered he writes murder mysteries. Yes. And that now they're trying to figure out who did it, who done it, who done did it, and who's getting that money. And we're just kind of in like Lanky Stanfield and, and Daniel Craig and this other guy who is great, but I can't remember. I don't know who his, like, he's his in. Every, is. He's in every Ryan Johnson movie. Uh, so. He wait, is that, that's not Kid Blue, is it? Yeah. That was Kid Blue. Yeah. Oh my, that's why I recognize him. He's so gotten older. Daniel Craig is this weird. <laughs> Weird, like, uh, de de private ben, investigator. Benoit Blanc. Benoit Blanc. But he's got a thick southern accent. He's a, he, he's a southern man. <laughs> and what's great about Daniel Craig doing southern accent, so in Logan Lucky, yes. he did a totally different southern accent. It's like a, like a weird high southern yeah. accent. In this one, he's got like a southern drawl and he's slow talking. It's like he watched that episode of The Office when he's like, it's like, it's like, it's like molasses. <laughs> Far, far from Basically, his character is just like uh, Poirot, yeah. but Southern yeah. and kind of dumb. <laughs> he's like the world's best detective, but he's not. Yeah. He's a great detective who's an idiot. It's hard not to just spoil this movie because the movie, not, it doesn't spoil itself, obviously, because you're yeah. watching the movie, but it kind of shows you exactly what happened right in the middle of the movie. The problem with older murder mysteries is like they reveal too much. And so like everything is laid out in front of you and you sort of figure it out. And sometimes that can be boring. Clue's not boring, but older murder mysteries for sure that I've watched, it's like, wow. Okay, well, I know who the killer is. Yeah. Or I would say it kind of goes the other way. I'm looking at you, uh, Murder on the Orient Express. Uh, the new one. The new one. Yeah. It just goes almost too far where it reveals nothing. And yeah. then at the end, it's like... They're all the murder. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> Which, I will say, I enjoyed that one. But it was because of the acting. Yes. But that's that's what murder mysteries are based yes. on. It's like, you have to have good actors to sell it. Yeah. If, it if it's going to be a boring plot. This, Knives Out, great actors, 
great plot. Yeah. You got, of course, uh, Daniel Craig. Yes. Lanky Stanfield. Mm -hmm. You got Christopher Plummer. Mm -hmm. Still killing it. Old, still killing it. And got killed. In the and movie. got killed. Rest in peace. Uh, then you got... Not yet. He's still alive. Jamie Lee Curtis. Nailed it. We have Don Johnson. Got it. We have uh, Christopher Evans. I mean, I know my Christopher because oh, we, yeah. we have we do not know each other at all. So no. Chris is a very formal, uh, informal name, and I just call him Mr. Evans. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, I know him a little better than this. <laughs> Michael Shannon. That's another one. We have uh, Tony Collette. Tony Collette. We have the kid from uh, the It movies, and he's in everything now. Uh, he he had a weird name, and then he changed it. Uh, Jo Judah, jo mm. Mm, it's gonna mm. pop up on the screen. He's Bill in it, and Anna Anna de Armas. All of the characters have their weird little quirks. Yeah. So Tony Collette's character is like a parody on influencers, but also a parody on Gwyneth Paltrow's oh. Goop. It's very like, it's on the nose. It's hardcore. Very, it's like Gwyneth. Look, I, I mean, it was like <laughs> one step away from being like. And then you have Jamie and Curtis, who is probably the real leader of the family. Her husband, Don Johnson. And their son is Chris Evans, who, you know... Ransom. Ransom. Who is not really in it a ton. No, but when he shows up... He shows up. He's he there to play. It, it reminded me of his performance in Not Another Teen Movie. Where he's just very kind of over the top. Yeah. He's good at writing personable dialogue. Yeah. And I really enjoyed that about his movies. It's like Looper and Brothers Bloom and Brick. Well, Brick is different. Brick is very noir style yes. writing. What yeah. I love about him is he, he always takes a genre. He decides, even I think even Last Jedi, he takes a genre of film or a type of movie and he he comes at it from like a different perspective. And this is kind of the same thing. It's like a family drama, but like what if it was a murder mystery? Yeah. That's, and I really enjoy that, that even, you know, when we start to, when you figure everything out about halfway through the movie and then the movie becomes about, okay, well, it's a murder mystery, but it, what if we told it from this person's perspective? Not this person, but like a yeah. character who is in every murder mystery. It takes one of the suspects yeah. and makes them the main character. Yeah. Which is not, it doesn't happen often because, you know, usually you're just following the detective yeah. trying to figure things out. But as we learn, Daniel Craig's detective is kind of an idiot, so he so, needs yeah. help. <laughs> I mean, I think maybe one of the funniest lines of the year if mom's a donut and it oh, is yeah. just oh my god one thing i think we can spoil because i've seen it talked about is one of the characters has a problem where if she lies yes. she throws up in these movies you need one of those things where it's like it's a gag basically yeah. that's why you watch us wow that's why wow. you watch us but yeah it's like it's one of those gags where you need it in the movie to kind of keep it yeah. comedic if it gets too serious so if like Things are getting too serious. Oh, just... It's, like, very political. Oh, yeah. But without being, like, like beating you over the head with it. Yeah. I mean, it really is. Like, if you really look... Like, there, it, it addresses an issue that is going on right now. And it does it without really being, like, this is important and you better pay attention. And this is why everyone's wrong. This movie is a microcosm of what America is in 2019. Yeah. So in 10 years, this movie's gonna feel dated, but it's not gonna feel like a bad dated. No. It's a very like in the moment movie, yeah. and it's gonna be great like 20 years from now yeah. watching it back and being like, oh man, remember that time when everyone was on Twitter? Yeah. The well, dumbest thing that ever existed. <laughs> and the best thing. I mean, it, it's got some good memes. <laughs> so when you rate, you have to knives, out. Not out of our, our stomach, but like no, out, out of, of your like sheath. sheath. Okay, yeah. I just want to make sure because it looks like you're doing this. Well, you could do that. You send your fanny pack. Yeah, <laughs> I was unzipping my fanny pack and taking my knife out. I love this movie, and this is a movie too. I will say, you may feel weird right after. Not weird, but you may be like, "Did I love this movie?" And then you just start thinking about it a little more. So I don't don't get online for like don't get on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat or. Uh, TikTok or whatever the kids are doing. Venmo. Those days. That's a great social media Venmo. app. <laughs> Apple Pay. <laughs> and just start tweeting your thoughts or you know sharing your thoughts about it. Give it a little time because it is a movie that with with time, I think with most Ryan Johnson movies, you start thinking about it a little more. Yeah. You start remembering those little parts and you really start appreciating it for what it is. And I love this movie and I would go, I want to go pretty, I'm going to go like eight and a half, maybe nine. I'm going to go like 8.75. Fine, I'll go nine. I'll give it a nine. I love it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you got unsheathed your knives. I hope there's a nine right here. Yeah, you know, I would give it a... 
Wow, it's a nine. Whoa. <laughs> Why is your nine bigger than my nine? Because <laughs> it's imaginary and I could do that. Go see this with your family. It's yeah. a great family it's flick. It's a great family flick. It's PG-13. Yep. There's a lot of cussing. So if you're okay with your kids seeing some cussing, that's fine. It's a perfect movie to watch with your family on yep. Thanksgiving weekend. It'll really make you appreciate how great your family is. Because this family, yeah. pretty terrible. Especially after the, all the arguments that you guys will have yep. at Thanksgiving. This one will make you laugh at the fact that you guys are having arguments during Thanksgiving. You know what? I would say that this is like you're going to you're going to argue but you'll be able to agree on one thing. That knives out. It's a great movie. <laughs> See y'all. Now we have to do it. <laughs> oh! <laughs>